All right, so in this video, we have this question, well, two questions over here. We have this equation, y equals to x cubed. We have a tangent line at x equals to two, and we need to find where the tangent meets the curve again. So what exactly does this mean? Let's sketch this situation out. So I have a y equals to x cubed that looks like this. And there's a tangent at x equals to two. So somewhere over here, there's a tangent line, the x value is two. And we need to find where this tangent line meets this curve again. So if I extend the line on the right side, we know this is never going to hit this curve because this gets steeper and steeper. But if we extend down over here, we know that there'll be a certain point where the line hits the curve again, and we need to find this point over here in this question. Okay, so in order to do this, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the equation of this tangent line. Okay, so I have my equation that I'm going to rewrite it here, x cubed, and I have the x value is two. So I want to first derive this equation. So y prime is three x squared, then I want to sub in my x value into this to find my slope. So that's 3 times 2 square, which is just 12, 3 times 4. So my equation of this tangent line is y equals to 12x plus b. I don't know my y-intercept just yet. My slope is 12. In order to find my y-intercept, I need to sub in an x and a y value of a point. I know that I have an x value of 2. I can find the y value by subbing in this equation. So y equals 2 cubed, which is just 8. So I'm going to sub in my y as 8 and my x as 2. And I'm going to solve this for b. I get negative 16 equals to b. So my tangent line equation is y equals to 12x minus 16. Now I want to find where this tangent line intersects this curve again. So in order to do that, I need to basically equate the original equation x cubed to the tangent line equation. I need to make them equal to each other. So x cubed equals to 12x minus 16. And now I need to solve this. This is a cubic equation. So I'm going to bring everything to one side and make it equal to zero. Then I want to do synthetic division on this. So you normally do factor theorem, but because we already know positive 2 is a solution to this equation, we don't need factor theorem. We can just start by using positive 2 for our synthetic division. 1, my coefficient of x squared is 0, negative 12, 16. I'm just doing synthetic division here. Bring the 1 down. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, negative 8, negative 16, and I get a remainder of 0. So I can rewrite this as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And I'm going to factor this with my man method. What multiplies to negative 8 and adds to positive 2? It's just positive 4 and negative 2. And then these two brackets are identical. So I can rewrite this as x minus 2 squared times x plus 4 equals 0. So my x solution is 2 and x equals to negative 4. So I know that the x point of this is already 2 that was given in the question, which means that the x value of this point is negative 4. So this tangent meets the curve again at x equals to negative 4. If you want, you could also find the y value by subbing this back into the original equation. So negative 4 cubed y is just negative 64. You could write it as a simple solution with just x, or you can find x and y as well. Have both the x and y value where the tangent meets the curve again. Basically, that's the exact point.
Let's try with this second example over here. Same idea, just a bit of extra practice. I'm going to start by deriving my equation. That's negative 3x squared plus 4x. And then I'm going to sub in my x value, which is negative 1. My slope here is just negative 7 y equals negative 7x plus b. I'll find my y value by subbing in my x value into this equation. The so y equals negative 1 cube is negative 1, so that's positive 1 plus 2 plus 1, y equals to 4. I'll sub that in this equation, so I'll replace y with 4 and x with negative 1, and I'll solve for b. My equation here is y equals negative 7x minus 3. Again, I'll equate this equation with the original to solve for the other point of intersection. So I have negative x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 equals negative 7x minus 3. I'll move everything to the right side here because I like to have my largest term positive. So this is just x cubed minus 2x squared minus 7x, which just stays the same there. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. I'll factor this with synthetic division. Again, I know minus 1 is already a solution to this. I don't have to do factor theorem. 1, negative 2, negative 7, negative 4, my coefficients. I'll do my synthetic division. I'm left with x plus 1 times x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And then what I can do is factor this further. So this is going to be x minus 4 times x plus 1. And I can rewrite this as x plus 1 squared times x minus 4. So here, x equals negative 1, which is already the solution to the question. And then the solution I'm looking for is x equals to 4. I can find the y value by solving this back into the original equation. And if I do that, I get negative 30. One. So the other point where the graph intersects is 4 and negative 31.